Yeah, it's been a, a, a thought for about four years now between Serco and the department about how we can get more engagement with clients in organic gardening and projects which will keep them engaged, give them important skills, uh, but also allow them to have a really meaningful activity that contributes back uh, to our environment as well as uh, beautifying the places where we operate. What we have here is a aqua, small hobby size aquaponics setup uh, where we grow a number of barramundi up to plate size. Uh, we then have uh, a series of plants which take the waste water from the fish, uh, convert the uh, waste into nitrates which feed the plants and we return the fresh and water back to the fish tank. So it's an entirely organic process. Uh, we're also recycling 100% of our food waste from the kitchen into composting. Uh, we're using that compost to enrich the soil and further develop some fruit trees, uh, herbs and other plants for use in the centre. Uh, and this allows the clients to engage in organic farming techniques and to complement that, we're using guinea fowl in place of pesticides to maintain pest control. Yeah, the guinea fowl uh, don't damage the surface, unlike chickens and other animals which come in. Uh, and of course they produce their own waste which is beneficial to the soil as well. Yeah, we, we've broadly got uh, a couple of plans for the food. One is that there are charitable organisations within Derby. Uh, there's a breakfast program for children who may not be fed during the course of the day. And there's also a women's shelter supporting women who are subject to domestic violence and we're looking to support both those organisations who would otherwise need to beg for public monies. Uh, we also have uh, snack foods and other things inside the centre and we'd like to filter some of those out in place of healthier options for the clients and encourage them to grow healthier foods. The whole thing's been really fantastic and uh, we've got strong client engagement. Uh, we're growing uh, a number of plants very successfully. Uh, we're introducing them to techniques which are really exciting and also we've gleaned some learning from them and techniques they've used in Afghanistan uh, to combat some of the hot environments that they come from. Um, so there's been a really healthy exchange of learning.